this may very well be the same slide we just saw in the previous case. In fact, it looks identical. But once again, I'm giving you a couple more chances to become real experts at pap smear. And let's look at it again. What do we see here? We see here a nucleus that is bigger than it should be. Uh, we see here a nucleus that's a little darker than it should be. We see here a nucleus that is a little bit lumpier than it should be. Uh, these are all atypical dysplastic or intraepithelial lesions. Uh, if I told you that those three or four cells we just saw were the worst you'll see, and they are not terribly as bad as what we saw with the high-grade SIL, you would instantly diagnose this. You would instantly diagnose low-grade uh, SI, SIL. Let's see what we have here. Does somebody want to find a few dysplastic cells for us, or should we look on our own? Actually, I think we want to point out in this one is that this cell may not look terribly abnormal, maybe a little bit, but it seems to have a little clear zone around it. This is called coilocytosis, and classically, this is a coilocyte. And this type of change, uh, which is in the field of low-grade atypia or low-grade SIL, is uh, very, very diagnostic for HPV or the human papillomavirus. You want to find another coilocyte or you want me to find it for you? There's another cell that has a little bit enlarged, but there's also a little bit of a clear zone around the nucleus, isn't there? This is what the cytologists call coilocytosis. Whenever you see it, you know HPV has been around. Thank you very much.